It's five o'clock. I'm Sybil Fennell. Good evening. Earlier today, as you probably already know, the managing director of Nova Media Services, the parent company of Radio Nova and Kiss FM, took the decision to cease broadcasting as and from six o'clock this evening, Thursday. Mr. Chris Carey said the decision had been taken in view of the pending High Court case scheduled for 11 a.m. on Thursday next, May the 26th. Mr. Carey expressed his gratitude to all who've supported the station continuously over the past two years and paid tribute to the continued efforts of the small and loyal staff. Mr. Carey also thanked the members of the press and other media services for their fair reporting of the station's activities since its inception. As the number of independent stations throughout the country diminishes hourly, so in a time of worsening unemployment, hundreds of young people are being forced unnecessarily to join the dole queues without any real prospect of future employment in their chosen career. The Taoiseach Dr Fitzgerald announced in the door today that the bill to deal with independent radio broadcasting would be likely to come before the government in, as he put it, the immediate future. The rest of today's news in brief, proposals in service, we can't go without expressing thanks to all those who contributed to the service over the past two years for their professional contributions and their support. Indeed, all those past and present who've helped to make the service as successful as it is. To newsreaders, Bob Gallico, Brian Dobson, Ken Hammond, Siobhan Purcell, Kogi Clark, Roland Burke, Pete Moss and Terry Riley. To contributors, Jenny McIver, Linda Conway, Shane McGowan, Deirdre Murphy, Frank Wynne and Anne Castle. And to all those who worked with the service over the years, from all of us, until you hear from us again, goodbye. Goodbye. Bye -bye. It's three minutes past five, we're into the last hour. This has been the independent radio news from Dublin for the last time. Goodbye. John Clark.